what is up guys welcome back to my channel today I am here with another video and I know I haven't posted in a while but I actually have like five videos filmed I just had some like difficulty posting it especially on my computer my computer is like not working at all anymore so I have to post them on my computer because I am now moved back into my house I'm no longer living in the dorms just for the summer and so speaking of college today's video is going to be about how to avoid the freshman 15 and basically how to stay healthy while in college so some of you may be wondering what is the freshman 15 basically freshman 15 is i guess comfort weight that people or i guess a lot of people tend to gain during their freshman year of college because mainly because of stress being away from parents not really having a scheduled or eating or it is real it is real like a lot of people tend to gain 15 pounds their freshman year of college because they move from home some people are going from a perfect eating schedule to eating at random times of the day um, some people are used to eating healthy because their parents tell them to eat healthy and then when they come to college they are overloaded with all of this junk food so they decide to eat all this junk food in college you're more likely to snack you're more likely to get stressed out because of papers tests midterms finals all of that you all get stressed out and when you're stressed out cortisol builds up and when that builds up you are more likely to eat more food so basically it is real and it does happen most people the freshman year gain around i think the average is about 15 pounds but i know people that average from 5 to 15 me personally i actually lost 10 pounds my freshman year but that is because I stuck to certain tricks and tips so I'm going to be sharing that with you guys in this video and if you want to know how to avoid freshman 15 or just how to stay healthy throughout college then just keep watching this video. So the first tip that I have is to stay active. So the big thing for me in college was basically walking everywhere. I guess I didn't bring my car because it cost $2,000 at UCLA, but some schools it's not that expensive. But for me, I literally walked everywhere. The walk to class was about 20 to 30 minutes. I remember when my boyfriend came, he told me that the walk was so long. And I remember even to like the last quarter, I would still be out of breath walking to class. UCLA is basically built on a hill, so I guess I was kind of lucky or not lucky, however you want to think of it. But basically... <laughs> a walk to class is like a cardio workout like an intense cardio workout and yeah so in that tip i suggest taking the stairs always try to avoid the elevators take advantage of your free gym okay because the first quarter i lost five pounds um without going to the gym which is going to go on to the next topic which is food is more important than your physical activity but obviously you want to make sure you stay active and you pay tuition to the school you guys you're literally paying to use the gym so if you're not using it you're just basically paying for a gym membership and you're not using it so go use it I mean I don't know how everyone else's gyms are but UCLA has two gyms and they are so nice first quarter I did not use it at all I barely used it the second quarter. I started my fitness journey actually last quarter. That's why I lost mainly five pounds during the spring quarter. And I think I'm gonna start fitness videos on here soon. Just to let you guys know. If you wanna see any, please let me know. I noticed that my steps at UCLA compared to home were basically like tripled. I would have like 3,000 here and on average 10,000 to 20,000 a day. I guess. It mainly was like 15,000, 14,000, sometimes even as high as 19,000. Like, it's crazy. I would have so many steps a day. Tip number two, what you put in your body is more important than your physical activity. You want to make sure you watch what you eat. Obviously, you can still eat fast food. You could still go out and party and drink because I know... The main reason for freshman 15 for a lot of people is drinking because of going out to parties. Some Most people in high school don't even drink that much. Whereas 
college it could be like consistent drinking every single day or weekly if your body wasn't used to that and honestly you don't realize this but alcohol has a lot of calories so I know a lot of people have said and I've seen that they literally just gained their freshman 15 freshman 10 whatever however many they however many pounds they gained they gained it because of alcohol so make sure that you just watch how much you drink I guess because I lost 10 pounds but I still went out and partied and it's not like you can't drink you can't eat fast food you can't party don't worry I'm not here to tell you that but just make sure what you do is in moderation number three try not to snack snacking is going to be the death of you I remember posting something about freshman 15 saying there's no way possible I could get freshman 15 at this school it's so hilly and everyone was like that's what I said wait until the snacks and I did catch myself snacking a lot but somehow the days I did decide to snack I probably had more physical activity that day maybe that was why I'm not really sure but I did not snack all the time but I am guilty of snacking so just remember that the next tip is keeping a consistent eating and sleeping schedule because I know going most people going from home to college they already have a consistent eating schedule consistent sleeping schedule you wake up every day for school at a certain time but in college you have classes different times every different day so one day you might have a class at 8 a.m the next day you might not have a class till 3 that does not mean you should sleep until 2 p.m for the day you have class at 3 p.m by the way i'm so sorry for the noise in the background i have brothers now i am no longer living in a college room like i said so there's noise in the back but anyways, as I was saying, if you have class one day at 3 p.m., there is no that makes no sense to wake up at 2 p.m. Even though I am saying this, I'm a hypocrite for saying that because winter quarter, I had class at 3 and I woke up at like 2 all the time. But then I changed everything around spring quarter and that's why I lost 5 pounds again spring quarter. Whereas in winter quarter, I wasn't losing any weight. With the consistent sleeping schedule, consistent eating schedule, your body will be able to have a faster metabolism and will be able to burn more calories and be able to have more energy. And with that, I want to go on to the next tip, which is to stay on top of your shit because honestly, no, like really, if you don't stay on top of your stuff, then you're going to get stressed out. And like I said, stress leads to binge eating. And binge eating is going to mess up your eating schedule. You do not want to eat past 10 p.m., 10.30 p.m. Although sometimes I did, not going to lie. A lot of these things I did, but you're not going to want to do it. You're not going to eat past 10.30 p.m. You don't want to go to your dining halls or takeout places or go get fast food past 10 p.m. I know it's hard when you go out, which is why drinking is the main reason for Fresh and 15 because you will most likely eat pizza or something bad you're not gonna eat a salad or something healthy after a night out and that's why everyone gains freshman 15 because you're combining all of these things you should not do just because of you going out you mess up your eating schedule <laughs> annoying ass brothers Anyways, so going out combines all of these things. You mess up your eating schedule, you eat past 10 p.m., you drink alcohol, which has multiple calories. Like, honestly, you could probably drink a thousand calories in alcohol and it not feel like you drink a thousand calories, but you did. And most people should be eating around 2,000 calories a day, so that's like half of what you should be eating for the day. And I'm pretty sure most people eat 2,000 calories a day, so that's 1,000 calories more than what you should be eating. So that is putting yourself in a 1,000 calorie surplus, meaning you're going to gain weight if you drink that much alcohol. So, those are my tips. I also want to share with you guys what I did to lose weight. So basically, UCLA has their nutritional information posted online not every college has it but it's really easy to estimate the calories 
of the food that you're eating so I would calculate that kind of every day I didn't have an app I used to use lose it my fitness pal but honestly it was just easier to do it by myself and I just keep it on my calculator every day just because I could just look at it and really just do it myself and so first quarter I didn't physical activity whatsoever I mean I walked around UCLA which is basically a hill but I didn't do any exercise on top of that but I think the main reason why I lost five pounds that quarter is because my body was in such shock from the amount of steps I was getting every day exercise can help you lose weight or just help you stay healthy because your body is going to have more calories out versus more calories in and your heart is going to be happy so i think my body was really shocked from going from 3,000 steps to around 15,000 like i said average of 10 to 20,000 a day which was really crazy so basically i would count the calories of what i ate and then i found something online about converting your steps by using your weight by that you find like a number and you multiply that by the number of steps and you get an estimate of how many calories you burn so I use that as an estimate even though I know that my phone did not calculate the accurate amount of steps because it's a little bit off so I feel like that could have helped my deficit too yeah but that is it if you guys have any questions if you want to see any more college videos before you guys go and start your new journey at your new college in the fall, let me know.